Shoo! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Before we jump in, we gotta stop and get some fuel. And today's video is brought to you by Upside. Now, if you guys don't know what Upside is, it's a free app that allows you to earn cash back on daily essentials like gas, groceries, and dining. There are over 100,000 gas stations, grocery stores, and restaurants on the Upside app, ensuring that you can earn cash back at places like 7-Eleven, BP, Chipotle, Dairy Queen, and many others. And yes, it's real cash back. There's no confusing rewards, points, or credits. It's real money that you you can transfer directly to your bank account. Frequent Upside users earn up to $340 every year. And to find out how much you could earn, go ahead and click the link down in the description down below. Download the Upside app. Make sure you use promo code FLAIR to get an extra 25 cents back on every gallon of gas that you put in your very first tank. As you guys know, I'm always on the go, so I use the Upside app to earn real cash back on tanks of gas for all my vehicles. This helps me keep more money in my pocket so I can make more videos for you guys. Earning cash back is as simple as claiming an offer in the app, paying as usual with a credit or debit card and following the steps in the app. You can earn three times as much cash back with Upside than any other product on the market. Every single week, a million dollars in cash back is being earned by users. And top Upside users are earning up to $300 every month. To find out how much you can earn, go ahead and click the link down in the description down below. Download the Upside app and make sure you use promo code FLAIR to get an extra 25 cents off every gallon of fuel in your first tank of gas. Or you can scan this QR code right here to claim your offer. Huge shout out to Upside for sponsoring today's video. It's brands like them that I partner up with that allow me me to do, I do every single day, which is make videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So that being said, let's get back to the video. Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back. That's right. We are, in fact, building a giant sandy beach here in the backyard pond. Behind me here, this is the pond. You guys have seen us go through the ups and downs of this sucker, okay? If you're new here, last summer, we came out here, we dug a hole, we packed it, we filled it, and then it leaked. And so I let it sit all fall and all winter while I tried to figure out, what am I going to do with this sucker? Am I going to line it? Am I going to put clay on it? Or am I just going to turn it into Banjo's dirt bike track? And so you guys voted clay and bet night. So that's exactly what we did. A couple weeks ago, we came in here with a couple hundred truckloads of clay. We spread it. We packed it. Then we covered it with bet night. Covered the whole thing with bet night, which is this kind of sandy material with when it's activated with water, it swells up and it's supposed to keep from water from seeping through the ground. And then for extra insurance, we covered it back up with clay. And that is where we're at today. And so bam, that's what she looks like. If you're wondering what that is in the middle there, you missed it. We've been filling this pond and once I realized hey I think it's gonna actually hold here we need to start adding some structure we came in here and we took my big excavator and we craned in an old car that I had down in the ditch I took the concrete chunks right here which was from the gun vault in my house and we built the gun vault rock pile and then right back there that is the rock pile dreams are made of we took all the extra concrete from my driveway from the shop pour and we built the most epic rock pile you ever darn did see so you might be thinking Flair what's next that's exactly what this video is about it is about the beach and and uh, my daughter Brooklyn has been obsessed with the beach ever since we took her to Florida earlier this year. And since she's been back, she hasn't stopped asking me to build her a beach. Stay for my beach. Stay for my beach. You want me to build you a beach? Yeah. So that's exactly what we're here today to do. We've got dump trucks of clay coming in as we speak. They're dumping clay right here because we've got to build a berm, a little terrace, a little sand catcher 3000, if you will. So we're bringing in clay. It doesn't have to be clay. It could be whatever, but we really just want to keep the dirt that's in here nice and clean and compacted. We don't want to bring topsoil in here and potentially muddy it all up. So. So that's what we're dangling with. We got clay coming in truck at a time. I know I've spent more on clay than anyone probably on planet Earth, but I want to do the pond the right way. You guys have convinced me it's worth the investment, and I've already told you guys before, if it doesn't work, I'm blaming you anyhow. So what we're doing is we're going to start today with building Brooklyn's Beach. Um, and to be honest, I wasn't planning on doing this this soon. I was planning on doing this like over the summer, and we're just chilling. We're like, it's hot outside. Who wants to sit in a skid loader and push some sand around? But then we realized this sucker's actually filling up and holding. We better hurry on. Otherwise, that's going to end up turning into structure. And I don't think we want that. So what we're doing is we're actually taking clay and we're building a berm from here. This is the boat ramp. You can see I took the mule down the boat ramp. We're going to kind of tie it into here and we're going to go all the way to where the boathouse boat dock is going to be. If you guys don't know what the layout of this pond is, I'll pop it up here. We made a whole video about this. This is kind of overall the layout. That's the contours. We're going to have rock piles, brush piles, and the sandy beach, and then the boathouse. And so my idea is from pretty much the boat ramp all the way to the boathouse to have a real big sandy beach. Now, sandy beaches are good for two things. One, for Brooklyn, because 
she's excited about the beach. She loves the beach. It's like her favorite place to be. And two, fish love spawning on beaches because it's got a sandy hard bottom. They can make their bed, especially like bluegills. So really, it's a two for one deal. You're going to get a big spawning bay, okay? And you're going to have something for the kiddos to play in, which is going to be good for them. So what we're doing is we're putting it at about eight foot deep. So this is six foot. We've marked it all out. We've got three, six, and then 10 is that flag right there. So I told him, I said, maybe put it about eight or so. Obviously, we don't really need sand all the way down to eight foot. But the idea would be when we fill this with sand, you know, this whole bank behind me is going to be sand. If you get a big rain, you get some big waves, it's windy. Eventually, gravity is going to push that sand and it's going to end up filling in the bottom of the pond. I mean, essentially the same thing as silting in a pond, but with sand. So I don't want that either. So I, I, I talked to the dirt guy. I said, hey, can we figure something out? We either got to put a retaining wall in, we got to put some boulders here, or we can do clay. And he's like, clay is definitely the cheapest. So I was like, all right, bring some clay. So we're building a wall here. And so essentially it's going to act as a retaining wall where now we've got sand all the way up to the edge. So where the flags are up here, this is where the water line is going to be. So this is going to be three foot right here. This, basically three to zero. This is a big beach right here. So the water is going to come literally right to here. So this whole thing, this whole thing right here will be sand, but I don't want over the years for it to just run down in the middle of the pond. Then we got to pump it out and then I got to bring more sand in and it just creates a whole mess. So that's the plan is we're going to be bringing more and more truckloads and we're going to build this berm all the way over there. And then we're going to start bringing in some sand and build a giant beach in the backyard pond. You guys stay tuned. Got the sand catch 3000 built. What do you think, Banjo? Think what, do you, what, do you, what are you bunching on? It's my pepper. A little pepper action, yeah, huh? What, what, is he, what do you think? You want to go swimming? She says, I'll do whatever. You give me that pepper. I'll do whatever you say. So we've got the uh, this is the old sand, sand catcher 3000. That's what we're going to be fishing. So the, again, there's dual purpose here. We've got this whole thing built to catch the sand. So this, again, this whole thing will be beach. It actually kind of looks like a beach because of the color, but it's not. Nah, we got to get sand in here. So whole thing's going to be sand. And that way, if you get a big rain or whatever, the sand's going to wash down and this will catch it. And that's probably, that's pushing probably a three foot berm. That's three foot. Or yeah. Foot. Now, the other benefit is this is now, you know, a fishable thing where if the fish are deep, Maybe we put some brush piles over here and then they come up. You know, this is a huge spawning area now for like bluegills and bait fish and stuff, right? And if I'm a bass, I'm going to be hanging out on the backside, okay? Sit and wait. You're going to spawn and they're going to swim, swim, swim. And they're going to look over this edge. It's like Nemo. And they're like, man, I want to go, I want to go see what it is. And they're going to swim out there and wham, see you later. Predator fish are going to wipe them out. So it'll be really awesome. We can throw a spinner bait up on the beach and you can work it all the way down, bring it over this thing and it's going to go on the other side and we'll line this whole thing with brush piles and rocks and rip wrap and all sorts of structure. So two for one, we got the old sand catcher, but we also got a new contour because again, as you guys know, with the clay, we kind of had to bowl this thing out. There's not a whole lot of humps and bumps and stuff like that. So this is going to help with that as well as hopefully catch the sand. And then we ended it way over here because this is where we plan on putting the dock. And so we didn't want to have, I want to make sure that if we put a big dock out here, we can jump off, you know, into the deep water. And so we pretty much stopped it right here. So that way, if the dock sticks out, that's 10 foot where that flag is so just don't jump right here you know what i'm saying put a little marker. yeah so the, we'll the idea is the dock would be maybe like here so the dock goes here and then you have your sandy beach next to your dock i mean that's a large beach son how much sand, how much yeah. sand sand's cheap though right i think yeah. hopefully yeah. fingers crossed sand is cheap so we've got the levee built the sand catcher 3000 she is looking nice and mint it's time to bring in the sand and make brooklyn's beach you guys stay tuned Alrighty, folks, it is sand day. Bam! We've got truckloads of sand, 20 of them. Matter of fact, that seems excessive to me, but hey, whatever it takes out here to build Brooklyn's beach. So, this is what the pond looks like now. This sucker is filling up so fast, so much faster than I expected. I mean, the car is almost completely submerged down there. Look, the car's almost gone. So, we're bringing in sand. 20 truckloads of sand are going to be coming in. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a little greasy. We got a little grease action. So, if you guys are wondering why the pond is so much higher now than the last update, because it's been freaking raining for the last week. So this thing's been filling for like five or six days without us being down here giving you guys an update. And so that's why there's so much water now here in the pond. And uh, we had to be delayed in order to basically bring the trucks down here to dump the sand. It had to be semi-dry because if it's too wet, obviously it'd be a bad deal. And that truck right there would end up turning into structure, which although would make good structure, probably not good for the owner. So that's what we're bringing in is sand. 
lots and lots and lots of sand. So the idea is you guys already saw us, so we've built this little clay bench um, and that's there to basically, hopefully, in theory, hold the sand. Oh yeah, look at all that. Wow, 20 of them suckers. Do we really need 20 of them? Wow, that's okay. Hey, we got some sand. So the plan is to bring truck after truck after truck. We're also gonna go up and get some landscape fabric. And we've got some left over because what I don't wanna deal with is I don't wanna deal with weeds growing through the sand and then I gotta constantly spray and I gotta, you know, blow torch it and, and, and get rid of them, burn them. So, okay, if you guys are, live on a lake or have a cabin or know anybody, grooming and maintenancing beaches sucks, okay? So I don't wanna add something on, to my plate as far as maintenance of this property. So I'm gonna try to be a little proactive here and I'm gonna put some landscape fabric, stuff that like a weed barrier, okay, under it first, and then we'll put the sand on top of it, which will then hopefully prevent any weeds from growing, and that way I've got a perfectly clean, groomed looking beach at all times. That's that's at least the plan. So as you know, the beach is gonna go all the way from that white flag right there, all the way across here. So they're gonna bring in sand. We, we don't know if we need to put the sand all the way to the berm, because right now I think I'm standing in, this is like six foot of water. So like if I'm standing, I'm drowned first off, okay, can't breathe. So it's like, do you really need sand this deep? Maybe, but what we did, we didn't want to have this berm too shallow because who knows, maybe we only fill this lake 80% full for name it reason. I don't know, name it, okay? Then it's like, okay, this berm's sticking out of the water. So I intentionally put this berm a little, probably a little too deep, okay? But I just wanted to play it safe because if I end up right now, this is supposed to be like eight foot of water right here. Well, let's say I only fill it, you know, two foot, three foot lower. Now I'm in five foot. Banjo does a, a, a swan dive, okay? Hits his head, not a good deal, all right? So what we're trying to figure out is, do we need to have sand all the way down here or oh look out we got more sand coming in that sand's coming in hot or do we just build the beach that we want and then gravity's going to do gravity things whether you like it or not okay eventually the sand will end up coming against here but this will at least hold it in place so when we do have to add sand you know maybe year after year call it or maybe every other year it's not all just washing to the middle and then worst case scenario we drain the pond down a little bit like to where it's dry maybe the water's on this back side i could come in here with a skid loader once it's all nice and dry and i could take the sand and put it back up there i'm just trying to think ahead okay doing big expensive projects like this i only want to do it one time okay but we have officially got two of 20 so this is one tenth okay maybe we'll take this much sand i don't know we got one tenth of the sand we ordered i guess for that matter this is like you go to the bahamas this is like pure white okay kind of whitish but there's like no big rocks i mean it's like it's like an actual sandy beach literally brought it in from a sand pit so the plan is to spread all of it across here we're gonna get some landscape fabric so we don't have a weed issue and make brooklyn's beach complete Hopefully by the end of today, if not, wrap it up tomorrow because it is supposed to rain again. It's spring season. It's going to rain again next week. Yes, it did. So, couple loads down, we've got some fabric. Bam! Big Junior's fabric service. So, I don't know if this is technically landscape fabric, because landscape fabric's always like a little softer. This is what we put under some roads before, which we thought of, by the way, we rocked all this down here. So there's rock coming all the way down this trail, all the way by the hatch, you guys probably saw on the drone. We didn't put any stuff below. The reason why I like putting stuff below is because it keeps, the, well, the rock from just disappearing into the earth, for one. But then two, like weeds and grass can't go through it. But that was such a long, windy jaunt that I was like, whatever, dude, we'll just well, this big junior, he, you know how to run a mower, right? Oh, yeah. He'll mow it, okay? But the beach is different. I don't want to be maintaining no dang beach. So we've got the landscape fabric because we want to landscape fabric the shallow side. What you see, what the sun sees is really the most important thing here. So we're gonna go ahead and lay it here. And then this road here is elevated to drain the water. So once the water's filled up, I'll, I'll maybe I'll put some stairs that go down to the water, something cool like that. But what do you think? Yeah, what, yeah, you tell me, where do you want it? Start over here and roll this way. For that. Hey, look, look out. Let's see what we got going on here. We have like a 12, but there's not a ton on it. You think that's enough? I don't know, you need to be that far down in the water, huh? I get, I, I've never built a beach, so. I think this is better than not doing it. How's that going, big dude? This is fun, I like this. You having fun? I am. Big dude. <laughs> look at that. Look at him. That looks good. That looks that's gonna good. reach. So we maybe slide it down the stairs. Pull that tube a little bit. Oh, look out, look out. Not wearing steel toes, big dude. We almost had an issue. Steamrolling. I feel like you're gonna run out of this spot, huh? That's the end of the berm. Yep. The dock's gonna go somewhere in here. I don't think it's a bad idea, though, if- There's like, no weeds under the dock yeah. and stuff. Keep your going, Big Junior. I just keep her going. He's probably going, how big's your damn beach? <laughs> We're not, we don't want sand way out here. We're just doing it just so we don't have weeds. Hell. All right, sorry, Banjo called me. He's all pissed off. What? 
can't say. He was upset. I had to calm him down. He's about to go hurt somebody, I think. Anyways, we got sand. Look at that. Bam! So he's gonna spread it. So this is kind of gives you a visual. But like I said, this has to be so steep because we needed the road built so high so it drains this way. There's an entire thing built here so there's no water. The biggest thing is runoff. So it's not a big deal. I think it's fine. It makes access to the beach a little tricky, but we had a little meeting. We said, why don't we just put grass here? And then wherever I'm pretty much consistently going down to the beach, we get some railroad ties, make steps. You ever done that? Yeah. I haven't, so I'm gonna call you. That's when I need help. I've never actually built it's steps. My house, actually. You have a railroad tie step? Uh -huh. Okay, so I really am gonna call you. Yeah. Okay, so big junior step building service but that won't have to happen until like i mean it's got to be plumb full by the time we need that so no rush but the fabric did get a little little windage going on there so we stopped spreading it but for now we're gonna have this guy spread all the sand get it nice and perfectly groomed they got more trucks coming in we got 20 of these suckers this is only three so you guys stay tuned Hey, Junior. I didn't do that. You were on stake down duty, no? I'm standing. Well, our fabric's gone wild, but hey, beach looks good. Dude, this is a big rock. I told him, I said, don't let it blow away again. He comes back with that. All right, place it down gently. Yeah. What's the old don't blow away guy? I don't think she's going anywhere. Well, I think the beach ends here, okay? But then I'm like, we already have the fabric here. Do you make the beach bigger? Do you cut the fabric, save the fabric? What do you do? Uh, i tell you one thing, rolling that sucker back up wouldn't be very fun. Well, no. No, we can always cut it off and go put it somewhere else. You, you can always put it down on the boat, boat You can put it on the boat ramp. We and then, just put it down. And then you won't be, but all you guys comment to saying, Flea, you're gonna get the pond muddy. Well, not if there's fabric. Yeah. We have rock too. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's more sand, look at that. You guys stay tuned. the hell's going on here boys i don't know are you on jerky duty i yeah. thought you were the oil boy no i've never been the oil boy you enjoying the beach i am enjoying the beach <laughs> you really look like you're enjoying yeah. this the socks barbecue? stay on here yeah, too yeah, yeah. wow that's crazy oh, that's gross what, what what's wrong with it Shit! All righty, folks. Well, Banjo's excited. He's got the beach now. He's not as excited as Brooklyn. Brooklyn is even more excited. We just brought her down the mule to show her her beach. But oh, you see this? what's going on here? Oh dear! Really? Man. Why didn't like I? Th why didn't I think of that? How's that? You still eating jerky? Really? I didn't think about that. So we came in here. I smoothed it all up. Actually, I've got a little rake on an ATV now. When it arrives, we'll give you an update and see if it works. But it. I mean. There's a beach. There's a full-blown beach. So as you know, Brooklyn's been stoked. This is, I'm gonna call it Brooklyn's Beach because she's been, she's the reason why I have it. We took her to Florida. She realized the beach is cool. And then I was like, yeah, we could build you a beach. And she never let me forget it since then. So are you ready to see your beach? You ready to see your beach? Be careful. All right, go check out your beach. It's a little cold out here, man. Just tell me. Yeah, man's probably a little chilly. What do you think of your beach? Hey, we got you some beach toys already. Look at this. Look at these. these. Hang on. We got her some beach. We didn't get stuff for like sand castles quite yet, but I was like, this could at least are we be. Gardening some... in the beach? What are we doing here? Yeah, I mean, I figured play? we could dig a little bit. Little what do you think of the beach? You want a rake? This one? Okay. Oh, look out. She's going to take you. She... Oh! On your chair, baby. Wow. Hey. She's going to take you out. Can you do this one? Rake? What do you think of the beach? We should let Lucy out. What's Lucy oh, think Lucy of the beach? Should we let Lucy out? <laughs> What's, what's Lucy gonna do? Is she gonna go crazy? Yeah. Is Lucy gonna get the zoomies on the beach? Brooklyn, is this Lucy's beach? You're ready. Yeah, is it your? Oh, get him, Lucy! You go get him! Get him, Lucy! Get him, Lucy! What? Hey, she him. found the jerky already. That was quick. She's good. She's good. Hey, Brooklyn. Whose, whose beach, beach is it? Is this Banjo's beach? No. Is it Big Junior's beach? No. Is it Lucy's beach? Yeah. Is it Jake's beach? Yeah. Is it Mom's beach? Yeah. Really? Apparently it's yours. Wow. Okay, I guess it's your beach. I mean, what are you going to say? Lucy, what do you think? What do you think of the beach? This is pretty cool. I actually like having a beach down here. Like, this was, I really only did this. Oh, here she goes. She's on, there There it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, she's in. 
Yeah, there it is. Aunt Lucy's in the water. Well, I really only made this beach initially because Brooklyn was like, I want a beach. I'm like, yeah, we can throw a little bit of sand in here. I ended up making, how long these? This has got to be a waste. I mean, it's a quarter of the pond. It's got to be 100 yards, right? <laughs> Lucy, why are you wet, Lucy? Why are you wet? So again, we originally were planning on doing this just because Brooklyn said, I want a beach. And then we ended up building a huge, it's like a football field now. But I, actually, I think it's pretty cool. So the water, in case you're curious where the water's going to be, I don't really know, I guess. But I, what I do know is this flag right here is the six foot mark flag. So there should be six feet. There really is deer tracks here. That's kind of strange, really. Oh, there she goes. She's mobile. Look at her. What do you look? There ain't ducks out there. Yet. Yet. I saw two geese fly over this morning. Yet. Okay, so this is a six foot flag. Oh yeah, we should be able to get the water up there. I mean, if you're six foot tall, yeah. probably, you know. About right in there, you think? Because we might have might have like a little decent, you know, 10 yard stretch maybe of some beach and then and then the water. So there's a chance we might bring in some more sand because I ended up really tapering it right here. I didn't really think there was a reason to fill this in with sand because if it's underwater, like you don't really get to see it and then it's just kind of a waste of money. So when the water comes up, if we need to add more more sand we certainly can but i think for now this should work we've got what she lucy what now we're gonna have a floating turd in here lucy hurry it up pinch it off all righty folks so beach is complete what's going oh what's going on she was pooping oh there she goes i thought, I thought, I thought, I thought he's got the zooms look get at him lucy. Get, get him get him get him, get him. Lucy. Get touch him. up touch up get him. Touch. no don't dig don't no, dig no, 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 don't no. dig don't dig don't dig but there's not that much there's not that much sand here okay don't dig don't dig but what do you think big junior big sand castle guy i love sand castles really oh yeah is this, the right, is this the right do you need it does it need to be moist yeah it's gonna be a little wet do we need to dampen it yeah oh true we should bury big junior i didn't put that much sand here Oh, like okay. there's only like I mean yeah. should we let, well, let's dig let's dig to the bottom do we have a shovel you just gonna okay all right I also don't want you to bury me that bad you don't like that have you ever been buried plenty enough yeah. to bury him oh yeah what we, do you mean we could bury big junior it just there. keeps going yeah I say I, I mean I put a decent amount on son that's a lot of sand right. maybe we should bury you no, I kind of I'm, I'm on board with this yeah. I don't think we just should your head popping out I am you even got to the bottom oh you're not quite on the tarp so. I guess you you'd get to the clay though. I mean, there's a there's a good foot there. I would say, Lucy, help him dig, dig it up, I'm dig it up, going. dude. That's crazy. There's clay. You got clay. Yeah. So I mean, I would say at least a foot, right? That's got to be twelve. Up to there. That's probably about a foot. I get bear, get in. I was buried. Yeah, absolutely not. Well, we got a foot. That was my goal. My foot. My goal is to have a foot of sand. Again, once you get some rain, it's gonna end up sliding down just a little bit. But Lucy, why are you so excited? Get him. Get him, Lucy. Oh, get dude, him. you imagine? I saw I saw two honkers hey. come over. You imagine yeah. the ducks dumping in this? You know how horned up I get that. Oh, really? Over there. Really? Inside? What do you clay or what? Yeah, as in, we, we gotta go above. We gotta go uh, above the clay a little bit. But pond's coming along, boys. As you can see, it's coming along. We've got our beach. The next thing that we're thinking is structure. Okay, we've already sank the car. Hey, look, car's pretty much sank. Car is done. We've got the gun vault rock pile done. We've got the rock pile dreams are made of. And then we now consider this structure, this little levee here, that structure, because it's a different elevation. I think we just need to get some like PVC structures. I think we're leaning towards more not natural. What, what, what's what artificial. I'm looking for? Artificial. That's it. More artificial. Oh, you know what I mean? It's, it's in the name. I feel like we got it. I feel like we got to do it. Why is that dog still out there? Lucy, come here. Why are you peeing in the Fill it up. Oh, she's helping. Okay, I'll let her do that thing. So now we got to work on structure. We've already got the car. We're thinking some artificial structure like the PVC barrels and pipes and stuff like that. And then we're also thinking some rock, some rip wrap. So we're working right now with the local rock place to figure out what they got that's on the cheap, like some recycled concrete would be nice. Something that's not super expensive. And then I think what we decided we're going to do over here is we're just going to put grass seed all along here and then maybe put some steps depending on like where we like to. Oh, she got a stick. Who gave her that? Did someone give her that stick? No. no. Come here. Fetch up. Go get the stick. Fetch up the stick. Hey, here. Bring it here. Lucy, bring, bring me the stick. Why aren't you bringing... Give me... Go get the stick. You want to throw the stick? <laughs> Lucy, sit. Do you want to throw the stick for her? No. You didn't really sound that excited. Okay, stay. Stay. Throw it down the beach. Stay. Fetch. <laughs> Anyways, Lucy likes the beach. Brooklyn, do you like your beach? Well, that's good. I'm glad she like Big Junior. You like Big Junior. Big Junior's beach has a good ring to it. Yeah, that'll Big, work. Big Junior's beach. I feel like that could go well. What you, you were the guy that was really enjoying. I enjoy the beach. Can you imagine just us laying out in lawn chairs, half shooting doves. <laughs> Would that not get you that's excited? Good I mean, that's got to be the. Gonna love this beach. Yeah. I was Picking thinking dribble. margarita in hand. That would also be a good time. So let us know what you guys think we should do for structure next. That's gonna be the plan. And also stocking it. We're thinking about stocking it because now we've obviously got plenty of water in here. So we're gonna stock it. We're going, Lucy. <laughs> You stop that. <laughs> we're gonna stock it. We're gonna add some more structure. We're still looking for like the really big item to stock. So let us know if you guys have any ideas. I mean, a car's pretty like a school bus. I thought about if you big get like junior's a junior's bus. Big junior's yeah. bus. Oh god. Big junior's bus. 
Why not? I feel like that I would like be. It. You imagine just a yellow bus right in the dead center of the pond? Yeah. If somebody could find me a bus that doesn't have an engine or any li liquids or oils or anything that EPA would come start getting pissed about, you. Huh. <laughs> he lost his hub. What's he? What's so funny? I don't know. Huh? Oh. Keep Yo. going. Is he okay? Is he gonna... <laughs> Keep talking. Keep talking. I'm just, I'm asking the folks at home if they've got a bus for us because you want a bus. <laughs> what? A what? A bus. That's oh. what I said. Yeah. It's just a bus. I don't know what's so funny about it. Anyways, let me know. A bus, maybe a helicopter, an airplane, a sunken boat. Somebody said to reenact the Titanic. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. So, what? They did. There was a comment. I'll put it up. <laughs> I'll put it up. Hey, you no, throwing the flag on that. You no, said it, not, not me. But you think you're going to be on it while it sings? Or? What if we put... I got an idea. <laughs> For totally sidetrack, we play battleship. We each have a boat and we try to sink each other's boat. How are we gonna sink it without go? shooting at each other? It's gonna go through the liner. Are there the no, 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 no. Are no. We like throwing like, like bombs at each yes. other. Yes, like we, like we could blow each other out. No IEDs across the lake. No, or what? I'm thinking like okay, how could we come up? With it? I need your guys' help. I'm thinking we're on rafts and we're, we have to throw in lob stuff at each other and it, 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 it would it throw would, that's gonna sink the boat. I think we need to play battleship out here. Anyways, let me know what your guys' video ideas are in the comment section down below. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. Kiss and peace. Thank you.